opportunity to spotlight the amazing Latin culture in the NBA and its global fan base. Alongside Grant Hill and Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, our reporter. I'm Brian Anderson. Allie, it's all yours. Well, DeJounte Murray's overcome a lot. Fell to the 29th pick in 2016 over concerns about his tough past. Then an ACL tear cost him his third season. Last year, an All-Star, he said, quote, there's nothing like being respected, working hard, and being willing to learn. I'm from Seattle. We're built for this. Brian? Great story, Allie. Thank you. And we've got a pair of teams here that know a thing or two about ball movement, Grant. Yeah, they really do. I mean, there's a great feel that these teams play with. Two of the smartest teams in the league. They focus on sharing the basketball and keeping everyone involved. This is a matchup for the purest. And now the opening lineup for Chicago. Jeremy Grant out there with Joel Embiid. Then there's Mike Conley. Then it's Murray. And it's Dort in at the small forward. And for the Rockets, we've got Anthony Simons. He's out there with Gary Payton the second. Obi Toppin out there with DeAndre Ayton. And it's Kevin Gelly in at the four. And it's the Rockets with the ball. After the basket by Chicago. Simons outside. Pass to Aiden. And Aiden with the stuff. Anthony Simons looks real comfortable running the pick and roll as the young combo guard continues to grow as a passer. Conley passes to Embiid. And here's Dort. Down low. Murray lays it up and banks it in. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Peyton, no good. Murray from outside. The shot comes out, and Houston will come the other way. Fresh off a win against the Pacers. You have to credit the game plan going in, especially at the offensive end, where they were just so relentless. They knew that the arena would be rocking. And if they could execute well on the offensive end, they knew they could quiet down this hostile crowd. Outside Murray. Pass to Dort. That's good. His first bucket of the game. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. And that was the mobile one drive. No resistance to the finish line. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. They recover it, and here's Toppin from the arc. He can't hit that time. Now Chicago takes it the other way. They're coming off a win against the Nuggets. Yeah, they were able to execute offensively in a hostile environment, which led to a lot of high percentage shots. Rarely frazzled. They play with a pretty even temperature, in my opinion, throughout this entire game. Woohoo! Just great work cashing in on the fast break. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. Now here's Toppin. He picked up 12 points in their last win against the Pacers in Indianapolis. Yeah, what about his work on the glass? I mean, he was an all-around contributor to a winning effort. Three on the clock. That's good. His first made shot in three attempts. I mean, every time down the floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. Pass to Murray. Board outside. Releases. The Rockets pull it in. They beat the Bulls during their last encounter in Chicago. And they... Oh, oh, oh wow! Oh, he went oh, my way up. goodness! Just rising up to the rim. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. You know what I'm saying? And the replay of that slashing drive to the hoop, courtesy of Mobile One. An aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. From the strike... And there's Murray. That one's good. On the assist by Conley. Murray's got six points. A lot of teams bait Murray into taking this shot, and he obliges by knocking it down. On the wing, Simons. The three is up. They get it back. Controls the rebound and the putback. Just great positioning to get the rebound, then get it back up. So it's Chicago now. 
Murray passes to Conley. Here's Dort. Back to Conley. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. And Conley, because of his quickness and wingspan, he plays bigger than his size. Oh, guys, the city of Chicago is used to the highest standard. The shadow of those Michael Jordan teams Jeremy still looms large. Assist and, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for Chicago? For me, they're turning defense into offense, creating opportunities by taking the ball away. here. Alvarado's checked in. City, Houston has gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Pass to Toppin. Let's it go from deep. And Conley grabs the miss. And all quarter long it's been the same story. Inconsistent with his offense. And the layup is good off the glass. Conley's got his second bucket on the night. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Outside. Outside Peyton. Pass to Alvarado. Shot clock at five. Inside. Oh, and the jam by Aiden. And that's just terrific body control by Aiden. Setting a solid pick and then quickly getting himself open. Dort against Simons. Here's Grant. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. hayton has got four rebounds in the game. Simons passes to Payton. And a miss there on the triple. Chicago leading. Here's Murray. A quick shot there. It's off target. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Here's Alvarado. Defended by Murray. And rejected. So quick off the floor, Murray can afford to wait until the shooter commits. I mean, some good stuff out here. Five of their last six buckets have come off of nice passes. Toppin outside. And he gets that one. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. Murray passes to Conley. And here's Dort. Back to Conley from the arc. He's off on that one. And Houston will come the other way. Pass to Simons. To the middle. Aiden. Oh, with the jam by Aiden. Yeah, looking at Aiden using all of his height and reach, slamming it down on a helpless defense. Here's Grant. The Rockets pull it in. Aiton's got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Alvarado. Over to the left wing. Aiton, the open look. Rebound by the Bulls. Rare for him to get a wide open shot from mid-range and fail to connect. Now here's Dort. And here's Grant from the arc. Another miss. He's one for four from the field. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. And it's Alvarado missing. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Here's Alvarado. After the basket by Chicago. And it's Jeremy Grant with a foul. That's his first foul of the game. Brown, he's checked in for the Rockets. Substitution on the court. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. 
Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First personal foul. It's on Pat Connaughton. Team foul. And we talk a lot about momentum heading into the postseason. But then you see teams resting their players, willing to take a few losses, Smitty. Well, B.A., the reason why is you have veteran stars who know how to win in the playoffs. Health tends to be your number one concern for those guys. But for young upstarts, momentum can make the difference, especially in that first series. Smith, he's checked in for Mike Conley. He does not get the second one. Chicago's gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Connaughton outside. Richardson against Payton. Four on the clock. Here's Embiid. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Personal foul. That's three buckets in a row off assists. The line for the Bulls. Joel Embiid shooting. The free throw drops for Embiid. A fun-loving player on and off the court. Embiid continues to get better. One of the league's top big men. Eight, no good. That's how you want to see them crash to glass. They've been out hustled so far. Pass to Connaughton. Now Embiid, guarded by Toppin. Here's the Taze. Nice start for him, oh sinking his first shot. And they're behind right now because they're failing to play quality defense. It's that simple. Right side, Payton. Now here's Toppin. Back to Payton. Outside, Brown. Pass to Toppin. And it's out of bounds to the Rockets as Houston retains possession. Jackson, he's checked in for Toppin. Rockets, Josh Jackson. Here's Payton. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Connaughton outside. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Pass to Bataze. Over Jackson. No good. A bit long that time. Houston shooting around 40% early on here. Payton passes to Jackson. Now Brown. To halt the run. And the jam by Brown. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. Now here's Connaughton, averaging around five points a game. Five on the clock. Embiid from outside. Hits a three-pointer. Embiid's got six points. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Pass to Brown. 52 seconds left to play in the first. And the jam by Brown. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. Smith passes to Richardson. Smith outside. Embiid with it. On the wing, Connaughton. Guarded by Payton. Gary Payton, the second. First personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Chicago. Pat Connaughton at the line for two. No good on the free throw. Houston making some changes. Vincent comes in for Payton. And Simon has subbed in for Alvarado. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Brown. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. At the line for Houston, Bruce Brown. The first one falls. All right, the Rockets making a switch here. Dolly Stein's checked in. And both free throws good for Brown. 20 seconds left in the opening quarter. Smith against Simons. 
And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First personal foul. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. At the line for the Bulls, Dennis Smith Jr. Two shots. He misses the free throw. So he comes up empty at the line. Banked it in on the glass. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Here's Smith. No good on the buzzer beater. And so it's DeJounte Murray making things happen for the Bulls. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. Just tuning in. Second quarter action is where we are. And guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? Oh, what I love was that first quarter was all about leaking out and capitalizing in transition. That's their mindset. Attack, attack, and attack some more. You're not going to beat them playing soft. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. Jeremy Grant out there with Lou Dort. Then there's Josh Richardson. Then there's Dennis Smith. And it's Bataze in at the center position. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. You know, the point forward is an archetype that by now fans are familiar with. Grant, you were one of the OGs at the point forward. How's that position evolved in your mind? Well, it's evolved because so many players today have the skill set to be a point forward. 
Before me, there were guys like Paul Pressey and Scottie Pippen in the 80s and early 90s. But as I said, players today, the skill level is so elite. And with this positionless basketball that we're in, you must have a point forward or two on your team to be successful. Now here's Richardson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Just five to shoot. Grant finds Dort. Hauled in by Brown. The Rockets trail. Simons with it. Richardson picks him up. And he drains the quick shot. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. Outside Murray. Back to Dort. over Brown. Misses off the right iron. Well, Houston shooting a nice 50% for the game. Pass to Vincent. Outside, Brown. And here's Cauley Stein. Simons, left side. Gets it to go. That makes him two for three in this game. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Outside Richardson. Pass to Dort from behind the arc. And no good. So Houston will take it the other way. Just hasn't found much consistency from the floor. But his teammates have picked up the slack. With the 10-footer. Murray, no good. Great contest down low. Allowing no easy hoops is a winning approach. Now Richardson. Pass to Bataze. Shoots over Cauley Stein. And again, no good by Chicago. And it's Houston's ball. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Next matchup, they'll be at home against the Celtics. He picks the exact right moment to get himself a clear line to the basket. Now here's Richardson. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Outside Murray. Over Simons. Murray's shot is good. And the Bulls lead by one. His efficiency has been a big factor in helping them capture this lead. And you look at the numbers Murray puts up, Grant. He's a threat to post a triple-double on any given night. And I love that about him, B.A. I mean, he brings it in every aspect of the game. He doesn't hunt stats. The game just finds him. But his steal rate might be the best bet to put up a quadruple-double in the league one day. Alvarado's checked in for the Rockets. Conley's checked in for Chicago. Now a timeout called by Houston. And Coach most likely wants to address their turnover issues. The offense looks forced right now, rush. There's no synergy to it. They have to find a way to work together and remain aggressive without making mistakes. DeAndre Ayton, he's checked in for Cauley Stein. Substitution on the court. Back to Vincent, pass to Alvarado. Late clock, Houston's got to hurry. Here's Aiton. Oh, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. Chicago's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Connolly with the ball. Dort, the pass to Graham. Back to Dort. Graham with it. Pass to Connolly. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Now it's a three-point Chicago lead. A jack-of-all-trade, Jeremy Grant also has a strong feel for when his guys are uncovered. And Alvarado gets it to go. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Dorn outside. 4-3. Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got eight rebounds in the game. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. Here's Vincent. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Dort outside. Back to Murray. Outside Conley. to Bataze. 
Murray from outside. Hauled in by Brown. And it's Houston's ball. They're on a 12-4 run. With a nine-footer. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Personal foul. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Rockets. Establishing a big presence early in the game. It really helps and pays big dividends down the line because it frees up your perimeter. And also the coaching staff has to love the hustle so far. Just playing with great energy, getting out and converting in transition. Both good from the line that time. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. Dort has to Conley. Knock loose. Outside, Brown. Pass to Alvarado. Driving to the basket. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for Houston, Jose Alvarado. At the line for... No good on that one. Second free throw, no good. I can't believe he missed those shots. Wow, he is usually lights out from there. And you talk about a basketball family. Jeremy Grant's father was a pro. His uncle, his brothers. I mean, plenty of competition growing up. Gotta give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They gotta be more composed in the... Out of Syracuse, and he's really had to prove himself as an NBA player. He has truly come a long way. So for the Rockets, Nilakina, he's checked in for Jackson, and Cabot Gellis subbed in for Alvarado. Brown with the steal. Here's Cabot Gelly, Dort defending, and Aiden gets it to go. And this is how dynamic Aiden can be on the offensive end. Keep getting him the ball, please. Here's Murray. Still out of sync. And they just continue to dominate the boards. It's Brown on the wing. Pass to Nilakina. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Dort. Almost had the steal. You have to love the pressure defense. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. Embiid, he's checked in for Chicago. Connaughton comes in for DeJounte Murray. Dort with it, now guarded by Aiden. It's Dort on the wing. He picked up 21 points in their last win against the Nuggets in Denver. It's been a challenging quarter for them, and his offensive inconsistency is a driving factor. Here's Nelikina. Pass to Brown. Great start so far. Three of three in this one. They're really settling into a nice rhythm now, starting to gain the upper hand. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. 
There's no way coach likes this effort level. They need to refocus. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. Smith, he's checked in for Chicago. Grant, right side. And he was Houston. fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First personal foul. Came into this league as a defensive specialist. Now Jeremy Grant is becoming an offensive powerhouse. That free throw, no good. All right, the Rockets making a switch here. Hayden's checked in. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Well, Smitty, instant replay is here to stay. A big part of the game. How has it impacted the NBA, you think? Well, I think fans and players love that you get it right during crunch time. The one thing I think that can help is to speed up replay. That's what everybody is complaining about. And it's Houston's ball. They're on a 20-4 run. Here's Vincent. Here he goes. Sinks another one. He's on a roll. Starting four for four. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. Dort, the pass to Smith. Here's Embiid. Shoots over Aiton. That one's wide left. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Ooh, stolen by Smith. Pass to Connaughton. Now here's Embiid. He's covered by Aiton. To the inside. Smith. Blocked! And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Well, guys, the NBA expanding its footprint through video games. Commissioner Adam Silver said, quote, there's an opportunity to capture a new kind of fan who isn't currently watching our games but enjoys playing NBA 2K. By learning about the players and the teams, they're more likely to engage in a live product. Brian? Yeah, it goes hand in hand, Ali. Thanks. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. Here's Dort. Here's Embiid. And a good offensive Joel board, Embiid. and he gets the bucket. Embiid's got eight points. We all know rebounding is about effort. Embiid is showing lots of it. I love how he's unwilling to give up on the play. Chicago trailing here. Here's Grant. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Personal foul. Fifth team foul. At the line for your Rockets. Gary Payton the second. Taking two. And he makes the first. Simons is checked in for the Rockets. Richardson's checked in for Chicago. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Chicago has gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. Grant, the pass to Richardson. Five to shoot. Embiid finds Connaughton. Off target from three-point range. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Hayden passes to Aiden. Here's Kevin Kelly. Need to get off a shot. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Top. He's checked in for Kevin Gelly. Ball to the floor for your Rockets. Obi Chapman. Well, the Rockets shooting has been tremendous. 63% for the game and scoring with confidence. Fires from deep. Payton, no good. Payton's gone one of five from the field. And here's Connaughton for three. It's rebounded by Houston. Payton's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. And their free throws have dropped off in this quarter. Now here's Connaughton from six feet away. And Grant. The plays just get you in rhythm and keep you there. Simons passes to Aiden. And Aiden with the stuff. Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. 
Here's Smith. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Carlton finds Embiid. Here's Smith. Clock at six. Up top, Grant. His first shot attempt. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden. And the Rockets with possession. And here's Peyton. Averaging around six a game. Pass to Toppin. Here's Nilakina. He's covered by Grant. Nilakina gets the bucket. And the Rockets lead by 15. For three, Smith. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And so it's the Houston Rockets liking their chances. Ending the quarter with a 15-point lead. They put in work down low, getting in close and scoring in bunches. We'll be back in a moment. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. A tremendous start for DeAndre Ayton. He had 16 points and a monster amount of rebounds. Kenny, what would you think about the Rockets? They're getting into the lane whenever they want. Getting some high percentage looks. I don't see the coaching staff switching up too much. Keep it simple. Force your opponent to adapt to them. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Chicago? And one of the main reasons they're down right now is because of their rebounding problems. They're getting out work, out class, not bringing the intensity, not willing to get their hands up. They're playing like wimps. Maybe things will tighten up here in the second. 
we're seeing a tremendous game from DeAndre Ayton. And given that he's just delivered a double-double through two quarters, I'm excited to see his stats at the end of the night. They're asking a lot of him, shouldering the load in a number of areas. You just hope he has enough left at the end. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Gary Payton II is out there with Anthony Simons. Then it's Obi Toppin. Then there's Willie Cauley-Stein. And it's Nilakina in at the four. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. That's what speed and agility will do for you. Big time play. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, he has that fight in him. Love the aggression at the rim when they are trying to claw back into the game. Simons finds Payton. Stolen by Conley. To the paint. Here's Murray. Excellent D there from Toppin. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. Damn Payton, it. shot is good. Second half rolling along. About a minute played here. Poke loose. To the middle. Here's Grant. Oh, Grant throws it down. Defensive breakdown. Murray attracts attention as a score, which opens up everything else. Pass to Nilakina. And the layup falls. And the Rockets lead by 15. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. <laughs> Not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Now here's Murray. Ten points for him. Shot is off. He's five for 12. You know, I feel a lot of players get labeled as guys who can do a little bit of everything. The Jante Murray has more than earned that label. Toppin finds Peyton. Six on the shot clock. Down low. And the jam by Cauley Stein. And since the halftime break, their offense has just been on another level. You know, the coach has had something to say about that. No question, they've settled in and executed brilliantly. So it's Chicago now. After the Rockets picked up a basket a moment ago. Conley passes to Graham. Over Payton. That one doesn't drop. And it's Houston the other way. It really has been striking the improvement Murray's shown every year, Smitty. B.A., his scoring keeps going up. His assists are up. He's one of the best rebounding point guards in this league. And his confidence is trending up just like his stats. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. Oh, now that was a block. Some much-needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. Bulls on D. Trailing by 17. Shot clock at 6. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Murray. First team foul. At the line for Houston. Gary Payton the second. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. on both right around three minutes into this second half they're searching for a way to score yeah buckets have been very tough to come by those are precisely the looks this team is trying to create you know if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot more often than not you're coming away with points now here's Peyton Simons finds Toppin three-pointer no good for Chicago, they've got just two of six in the second half. Dort for three. And again, no good by Chicago. I can see he's pressing a little now, trying desperately to help them shrink this deficit. Simons passes to Payton. To the left wing. Just five on the clock. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Rockets. 
Gary Payton the second. At the line for two. He's off on the first. Kevin Gelly's checked in for Houston. Alvarado comes in for Simons. And the Bulls also making a change. Mataze's checked in. Good on the second one. And for Chicago, they're shooting a low 29% since halftime. Outside Conley. Pass to Bataze. Dort for three. No good that time. And Houston will come the other way. Peyton's shot is good. Peyton's got seven points for the quarter. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Chicago has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Here's Bataze. And too long on the shot. I'm not sure how he's going to explain that shot later. Low percentage chance. If it's not there, give up the rock. Trust your teammates. Now here's Grant. Give him eight. Looking to end the drought. He gets rebounded by Houston. Cauley Stein's got his seventh rebound here tonight. To the inside. And the jam by Cauley Stein. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Protecting the rim has to be their top of... DeAndre Ayton, he's checked in for Cauley Stein. Brown comes in for Toppin. And Vincent is subbed in for Payton. And a change for the Bulls. Embiid's checked in. The shot by Conley, no good. <laughs> they are really struggling to stop this run. All you see is a lot of frustration. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. Well, that was clearly a foul. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Rockets. I think they've looked to dump it down low as often as possible. And so far, they've been super successful using this attack. And we can't forget about how ferocious they've been cutting to the rim. Just going right at defenders and finding ways to finish. Hey, when you start locking it down at the line, good things tend to happen. Dort finds Conley. Outside Murray. Pass to Dort. Down to five on the shot clock. To end the run. And there's Murray. That one's good. And the assist from Dort. Dort's got four assists now tonight. When Murray gets on a roll, he is really something. What a night. Here's Alvarado. He's guarded by Conley. Pass to Alvarado. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here's Murray going inside, and it's Murray finishing it off. From the moment when he sticks his foot in the ground and puts his head down, DeJounte Murray is explosive and fast. Now here's Aiden. He's got 16 inside. Six to shoot. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got rebound number eight now. Grant, the pass to Conley. And here's Dort. Outside Conley. Let's the three fly. The rebound by Kevin Gelly. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Here's Vincent. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Vincent's got 12 points. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Here's Murray. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Here's Aiton. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. 
Second first yeah, solid foul. inside play by eight. Staying strong and taking the foul and while still putting up a shot. DeAndre Ayton at the line for two. The first free throw is good. What you can't help but notice this half is how lights out they've been from the free throw line. Chicago making some changes. Richardson's checked in for Dort. Connaughton comes in for DeJounte Murray. And it's Smith in for Mike Conley. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Yeah, what I appreciate about Aiden is that he wants to keep getting better. You have to be excited about his future. And they pick up two. High percentage look. This is what your offense is designed to do. Pass to Brown. Here's Alvarado. Now Aiden. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's on Joel Embiid. Gotta be careful how you guard Aiden. He's so creative at finding ways to draw fouls. DeAndre Aiden. Two shots. That's good from Aiden. Aiden hits them both. Chicago's got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Connaughton outside. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Bulls. Pat Connaughton. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. And the Rockets making a change here. Toppin's checked in. He hits the second from the line. And it's the Rockets with the ball. Pass to Brown. Aiden with it. Embiid covers. Back to Aiden. Shot clock at five. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. Here's Grant. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Outside, Brown. To the middle. Here's Toppin. And that one is stuffed right through. A little undersized at the four, but he can get off the ground. The Bulls shooting just 38% for this game so far. Smith passes to Graham. Now here's Smith. Pass to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. Emphatic slam by Embiid. Not afraid to get physical with the defense. Now Toppin. And here's Aiton. Embiid covers. Aiton passes to Toppin. Off the mark there with a three. Chicago shooting just about 33% since this second half started. Here's Graham. That shot, no good. Excellent D there from Toppin. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Here's Alvarado. No good off the back of the rim. Chicago's got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Richardson, no good. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. Two minutes remaining in the third. Here's Two Vincent. Minutes. 12 points for him. And he's Chicago going to the line foul. for two. The official Josh saw contact Richardson. while he was going up. First personal foul. Team is in the penalty. At the line for Houston. Obi Toppin. Taking two shots. First one falls for him. And the Bulls making a change here. Zeller's checked in. Yeah. 
and so he makes both from the line. They've been outstanding at the line this half. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Pass to Connaughton. And Toppin pulls it down. Back to Richardson. The three is up. Drops in the three. Josh Richardson. Richardson's got his first three points of the game. I love that catch and shoot. Defensively, you've got to close hard. Josh is dangerous in that area. Pass to Brown. Back to Vincent. Richardson against Brown. From deep three-point range. And it's Chicago with the board. And after this one, they're at home against Sacramento. And that kicks off a string of three home games for them. Offensive board. Back to Smith. Now Embiid. Shoots over Brown. Drops it in Joel from 14 Embiid. feet away. Embiid's got 12. Efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. Pass to Toppin. This one for three. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got 11 rebounds in the game. Richardson with it. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on Obi Toppin. Super assertive on the offensive end. Something Josh has worked on, and it's paid off. Richardson at the line for two. First free throw is good. I mean, a ferocious athlete. Josh Richardson has also proven to be a terrific 3 and D guy. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. There's 18 seconds left in the third. Simons passes to Brown. And here's Simons. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the Houston Rockets ending the quarter with a 20-point edge. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. Back to the game after this break.
Arm assist of the game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fella with the sweetest pass of the day. You know, it takes good vision and it takes good decision making right there. He showed both and he did so at a very high level. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And so in the game for the Bulls, they've got Joel Embiid, Jeremy Grant out there with Lou Dort, and it's Murray, and it's Smith in at the one. Now here's Jackson, Holly Stein. Willie. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. The Bulls shooting around 39%. They'd like to get that higher. Murray passes to Smith. Murray with it. Pass to Smith. Dort outside. The shot from 20 feet out. Offensive rebound. Here's Embiid. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And the moment Embiid gets the ball anywhere near the hoop, it's over. Too strong to stop without foul. Well, since Commissioner Silver took over, Grant, it seems the league's dress code is now leaving more, let's say, uh, wiggle room. You good with that? Yeah, a lot of wiggle room, at least compared to when I played when it was more of a business casual environment. But I think it's great. Let the players be themselves. Let them be authentic. And I think in a weird kind of way, it endears these players to the fans at home watching on TV. Like a bunch of runway models before <laughs> and after every game. No question, no question. Now here's Simons. And Conley grabs the miss. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Pass to Brown. Here's Jackson. And out of bounds. It'll be Chicago ball. Chicago ball. The Bulls have gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. Conley finds Dort. Outside Murray. High arcing shot. Can't connect from short range. They are blowing this one open. Maybe the only question is how big will this lead grow? And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. And last season, new trophies unveiled for the conference finals. Honoring Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Bob Cousy, Oscar Robertson. I love bringing up these names again. I agree, B.A. I mean, these are legends. These were those that laid the foundation for this league to be successful. So the idea of adding a little hardware and putting their names on it, I couldn't think of anything better. It's both from the stripe. Moving along, two minutes gone in the fourth. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Murray passes to Dort. Grand in the post. Jackson on him. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. A third of play in the paint from Jeremy Grant. Absorbing the foul while shooting. And he drops the first. Alvarado's checked in for the Rockets. And so Grant nails them both. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. And Alvarado gets it to go. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Outside Murray. Grant, left side. Fires the three. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got his fourth assist with that last one. Pass to Bazemore. And stolen by Murray. Looking to end this cold spell. And it's Murray finishing it off. You see it right there. One of Murray's biggest advantage is his lift off the floor. Here's Bazemore. Now here's Jackson. Hey, from beyond the arc. And Conley grabs the miss. Pass to Murray. Embiid against Cauley Stein. Back to Murray. Six on the shot clock. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll
He'll take foul. two from the free throw line. First personal foul. That's a great job drawing the foul, getting to the line. Murray's crafty, especially for his age. The free throw drops from Murray. Houston making some changes. Nilakina comes in for Jackson, and it's Toppin in for Brown. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. I love how DeJounte Murray plays with reckless abandon. He is fearless with his body, and that can often give him an edge against the deep. Now here's Dort. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It goes on Obi Toppin. And when Dort's out there, Grant, he really gives this team a physical presence. Oh, I like this guy, B.A. I mean, very strong, very aggressive at both ends. He makes a lot of hustle plays. Seems like every successful team has one or two of those guys like him. That free throw, no good. Payton's checked in for Bazemore. And he's good on the second. Houston has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Toppin outside. Pass to Payton. He goes up high for the two-handed slam. Great job on the back end of the play. Yep, finished with both hands, making sure of it. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Let's make some noise. The Bulls with the ball. They've given up just eight points in the fourth. Outside Conley. Back to Murray. Outside Conley. Here's the three. Here's Grant. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. First personal a solid rebounder at both ends. Jeremy Grant has even more potential in that area if he wants to focus on it. And the free throw, no good. The Rockets have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. To the left side wing. Back to Payton. He takes it in, and he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Powerful. He saw an opening and turned it into a highlight reel. Man, just sent it down with some force. Anytime you get an opportunity to show off a little bit, you have to take it. Now here's Conley. Dort for three. The Rockets pull it in. Pauly Stein's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Alvarado. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Mike Conley. Personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Rockets. Jose Alvarado. Two shots. That one's off. And he sinks the second. Chicago's gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Pass to Embiid. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. What concentration from the process. Embiid not phased at all by the bump. Here's Alvarado. And here's Toppin from the arc. And Conley grabs the miss. Just not feeling it from beyond the arc. Sometimes that happens. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Murray. And again, it's Chicago. An explosive athlete with the ball in his hands. DeJounte Murray doing a dance and creating space for his shot. Now here's Payton. Pass to Nilakina. Back to Payton. Can't get it to fall for Chicago. They've gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Murray passes to Dort. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. 
Murray's got three assists now in this one. Sometimes it's all about patience. His first three of the game, something to build on. Here's Nilakina. Back to Cauley Stein. And he comes up with a bucket. And the Rockets lead by 13. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now here's Dort. The three, Conley. They get the rebound. Here's Embiid. Again, the Joel Bulls score. Embiid. Yeah, a real versatile big man with multiple sweet spots out on the floor. Embiid is definitely on a roll. And that was our AT&T 5G slam cam, bringing you the sauce. Murray against Payton. Pass to Alvarado. Now Toppin fires the three. Chicago grabs the miss. Embiid's got 14 rebounds tonight, going after it. Here's Grant, outside Conley. Murray passes to Conley. Bulls keep it alive. Here's Grant. Here's Embiid. Oh, he gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit deficit. Embiid's got eight here in this quarter. A good sign for them is the work they've done on the offensive glass this half. Timeout called. Houston. What? game. Mike Codlin. And he really made his presence felt on the inside. Just so active and looking all game long for openings. And he found them by scoring a lot of baskets by slashing to the hoop. And it's a completely new group for the Rockets. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Hey guys, during that last break, I heard Steven Silas as he talked with the team. He said, we've got the upper hand, so let's not waste it. Keep getting stops. Keep finding buckets. So the message is, it's not over yet. Back to you. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Chicago has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Now here's Murray. Guarded closely. Can't connect from the right block. Houston in the lead. Pass to Vincent. Now here's Simons. Aiden with it. Just five on the clock. Here's Kevin Gelly. Here's Vincent. He's guarded by Conley. Vincent can't hit. Murray with it. Pass to Conley. The floater. The rebound by Kevin Gelly. Houston has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Simon's up top. He's guarded by Conley. And it's Simon's missing. And the Bulls shooting at right around 40% since the beginning of the fourth quarter. Pass to Embiid. The jump hook. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got five assists in the game. Houston shooting only 36% since the fourth quarter started. Brown finds Simons. Here's Kevin Gelly, defended by Murray. Ooh, stolen by Murray. Conley, he's open. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 157 left to play in the fourth. And it's Jeremy Grant with a foul. That's his third foul of the game. Chicago on D. Simons passes to Brown. to stop the drought. And it's Simons missing. There's the foul. It's on Anthony Simons. That's his first foul of the game. We're in the bonus now. And they'll go to the line. At the line for the Bulls, DeJounte Murray. Two shots. First 
Free throw is good. And that trims the lead to six. And Murray drops them both. He showed a lot of composure that trip to the line. Now it's almost a one possession game. Simons against Murray. Oh, and the jam by eight. Putting consistent pressure on this defense. Just the threat of him out there makes this offense work. Chicago has gone two of six so far in the fourth. And he lobs it up. And then oh. Embiid with the dunk. And one thing you can say about Embiid, he never shrieks from the moment. Time called here. The Rockets decide to talk it over. They lead by five. A minute 22 left to play in the fourth quarter. He's checked in for Kevin Kelly. And Peyton is subbed in for Vincent. A minute 22 left in the fourth. Peyton finds Peyton. Back to Aiden. Toppin outside. Simons passes to Toppin. Off target from outside. And the truth is, I've been there. He's trying to find the rhythm on his shot. He feels like he's close, and that's why he keeps shooting. Picked up by Grant. Simons passes to Aiden. Back to Simons. To the paint. Tipped. Oh, and the jam by Aiden. Gotta love how they've just maintained their intensity, even when they're this far up. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. Chicago calls timeout. They're down by seven. 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. And he sinks it. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. You won't see this young man turn down big shots. Murray believes in himself, and so does this team. And now we've got an intentional foul. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for your Rockets, Anthony Simmons, taking two shots. He hits the first one, and that increases the lead to six. It's obvious that Simon's game is the product of hard work. You don't get to be as accurate as he is without lots of practice time. Productive trip to the line extended their lead. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. They trail by seven. 27 seconds left to play in the fourth. Right side, Murray. It's rebounded by Neil Aquina. And it's Houston's ball. They lead by seven. Jackson pass to Simons. And here's Toppin. There's the three. Joel Embiid with the board. And Murray launches it from deep. And the miss. And so it's Houston winning this one. This one was in the balance right until the final seconds. And B.A., they showed their character when it mattered most. Sending those fans home happy. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports coverage of the NBA. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Come see us again very soon.